my dear brothers and sisters, for the past few days, we've been hearing that our Lord Jesus Christ healing, perform healing on the day of Sabbath. And in this particular encounter and opportunity again, we hear Jesus curing on Sabbath day. And this time, the Pharisees closely monitoring to see if Jesus would cure the man with the withered hand on the day of Sabbath. And the gospel today presents to us a practical judgment in which a question of what is the moral thing to do? What is the loving thing to do? In which I think every day of our life, we are faced with this kind of questions, existential questions, that everything that we do, what is moral? What is loving? It is about choosing what is good from what is not good. But then Jesus Christ here in our gospel today presents to us that there is what we call um, Jesus because it's so obvious when he said, looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart. And it's so obvious that our Lord Jesus Christ fully aware that these people having this hardness of heart. Hardness of heart um, precisely is, is an indicator of a person who is not open for any kind of, of uh, engagement of dialogue. Or there is what we call there is no meeting point. If, if you encounter this kind of people with this hardness of heart. And if we have to look at the first reading today, it gives us um, an image of Melchizedek, the priest Melchizedek, who would, would speak about perfection. If we would like to go back to the first reading, it speaks about it says, um, his name first means righteous king, and he was also king of Salem, that is king of peace. Why we are saying that Melchizedek is an image of perfection? Because without father, mother, or ancestry, without beginning or days or end of life, thus made to resemble the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. And it gives us a statement of prototyping. When you say prototyping, um, in the Old Testament, the image of perfection, which is defined by the words of the first reading, which is Melchizedek, it gives us also that the prototype of Melchizedek is Jesus himself. Because it says it's even more obvious if another priest is raised up, after the likeness of Melchizedek, who has become so, not by a law expressed in a commandment concerning physical descent, but by the power of a life that cannot be destroyed. For it testified, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. My dear brothers and sisters, we have to look at, at, at our readings of today. It speaks about that the, the law of Sabbath which is being observed by the Pharisees and the Jews, is not a law of perfection. So that is why Jesus Christ is trying to make uh, a correction on their mind setting that there are flaws of this law. And Jesus is trying to tell that only perfection finds in him. And this is so obvious that the, the scribes and some Jews are not convinced about this. When Jesus said, I have come not to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. And Jesus is telling that he is the perfection of the law, the completion of the law. And we can see that there is imperfection of the law. That is why we see that the moral judgment of these people 
um, they have a wrong judgment because of they choose from life with the letters of the law. They choose from the human person with the strict observance of the law. They choose from, from what is more valuable and important than the law. Which is Jesus in the gospel today reminding us that above all, it is the human person. And above all, it is the life that really matters. And above all, in every day of our life, it is all about the question of what is good and what is loving thing to do. Every day, we are being challenged to ask ourselves, what is the loving and moral thing to do? In which, in every circumstances of our life, every day, let us always choose what is good. Amen.